Greetings, everybody. It's DJ Adam Zero One Time coming to you from the Little Phil Grid. That's right. I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy this here. We had a little bit of follow up from yesterday, and then uh, probably going to go over and check out a new grid. But the follow up is really a cool thing. Uh, <laughs> I can never say his name, her name, or his name. Xi, Xi, whatever. It's a, a fantastic, uh, cool, whatever you want to call it, expo object, big wheel turning, city bus going in circles, whatever. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing. So it's it's going. You know, taking a look at that, and uh, as you can see here. Uh, <laughs> Wow, isn't that cool? I mean, it just goes on and on and on, man. You know, me and my sweetie were having a blast driving along in the automobile, dude, la, 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 having a good old time, you know? <laughs> a real good time, as a matter of fact. And then, uh, you know, the party over here, we was doing some partying, man, and some DJs going on. It just went on and on and on. And the party started back up later on again. I mean, these people partied till early in the morning, but the old man had things to do. That's right, had a few things to do. But I'll tell you the truth, this was this has been just an awesome event. I mean, uh, Ada's song is just a wonderful person. I came here this morning, I said, hey, you want to know what? I need somebody to to res my smiley chair for me, my smiley chair. It's got my animation on it. It makes me kind of look like I'm talking and doing stuff, you know? And so immediately Ada brought it in, and she uh, said, <laughs> yes, I'll res your chair. Now, Ada has been here a long time, and uh, she's came over from uh, Second Life with a whole gang, and they're good people, just great people. And she builds stuff, look at her furniture, and, and, and just... All kinds of cool stuff. So if you haven't got over to the expo yet, over here in Littlefield, get over here. It's a great, great, great build. Now the thing is, you're going to have to get here through the Welcome Center. You're going to have to go through their Welcome Center and then click. they got a million things to click on there. You can just go ahead and click and get there. And remember, I have been unable to, if you, if, if you crash or something, which I haven't had, haven't happened, but if you try to log back into the last place, uh, my viewer held up on me over and over, so I just went back through the the welcome area again, and uh, I've had no problems that way. Uh, so that's just a little reminder. Check it out and everything. Get over here and just enjoy all of it because, you know, these people really care. And uh, this is one of the few grids that you come to and uh, your stuff works. No, I don't mean you just bring a script right from Second Life, it'll work, but... They have figured out the difference in the engines that they use. And so it's one of those things that you want to look into because they can help you fix that script, tweak it a little bit so it works back there. You know, everything from RLV, everything works. Uh, it's a big deal. So let's <laughs> party with this place because it has been a blast. Hey, keep up the great work there, Little Phil Grid. And we're out of here. Greetings, everybody. It's DJ Adam Zero One Time coming to you from a grid, the Welcome Center of YR Grid. Uh, obviously, it's from over uh, a European grid. At least that's where the server's at. And, uh, well, uh, they're basically using, uh, I guess, uh, Cinder Biscuit's uh, wonderful build of uh, Singularity. They didn't have a Linux viewer, so uh, I asked Lord Draco to go ahead and uh, fork that uh, repository and build me up a copy of the 64-bit. And we did, and it, it came out pretty good. Uh, had to go back in into the, Pi man the uh, Manifest Python uh, script. Uh, they're a new view and uh, fix your uh, fix the build on the uh, DSL voice, the Vivox voice. It's uh, it's not using the right one. Went ahead and used the uh, the latest Second Live voice. Uh, notice that they're not using pulse headers on these builds, so maybe we'll incorporate the pulse headers and put that in there too, so we can use more parts of it. Went ahead and took out the uh, the the dots and the 
and the, uh, the voice Elizer so you don't have to look at those things when I talk to you. Uh, I don't want to go over at right now I'm sitting in a chair that takes over my camera and uh, the the view uh, the uh, the camera won't override that so if you pull out your camera tools uh, to use it and you're still stuck in that one position but I use a fly cam so I can get away around that but that could be a little bit unnerving to people uh, once you're out of this animation you're standing up it's, uh, it's alright might want to look into that the other problem I had was uh, importing my uh, my hair it's a, it's, it's a backup since uh, Singularity is not exporting uh, <laughs> the OXP, uh, I don't know, the latest ones I had. And it's, uh, these people were unable to, uh, this viewer is unable to import uh, that uh, a link set. It's a, a link set. It's a backup link set. So you may end up using a, uh, a Firestorm viewer if you uh, took it out with Firestorm, bring it in with Firestorm. Uh, don't give up on the first try. It was about the sixth try over there in the sandbox to get 134 uh, I, uh, prims on this hair to come through. Uh, not bad. And then, uh, then on about the eighth try, it was the eighth try, it finally formed it correctly. So be careful that somebody else is there is building that. Maybe the server is not pump pumping it in and out right. Uh, these are the issues that you're going to run into. These are issues you run into when you're going into a new closed grid. It's not a bad issue. It's not a good issue. It's These are the things you're going to run into. Uh, well, right at three hours to uh, bring in skin and hair and pants. Hair took most of the time. So remember that. Uh, so this uh, viewer here is... Uh, obviously not being maintained for 64-bit or 32-bit even though they're pulling the code straight from the merging in and out with uh, singularity so uh, Cinder you might want to look into that why the uh, cameras not overriding if not I will I don't uh, foresee that being a problem uh, I uh, particularly don't care for the Pi mode that was the first thing that would be Incorporated into Singularity or any of this stuff would be the right click uh, because uh, it's just too many clicks to get to what you want to get to. But that's only my opinion. Now, as far as performance, once in here, extremely fast server. Uh, obviously, it's a uh, it's part of an open sim server. It's a fork of open sim, obviously. Uh, of some kind and uh, seems to run very fast seems our servers are just extremely quick and there's no lag that I felt I think it's a, a fine grid and uh, I think uh, you know people should come in here and check it out uh, this is a uh, just a beautiful place to come just just to walk around the welcome area is phenomenal uh, you know uh, of course they got Bitcoin which I've uh, been a Bitcoin user I got lucky and got involved with Bitcoin right in the very beginning when they came out. So, uh, you know, Bitcoin's been a good thing for people. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's probably one of the better things around. So, what does this place offer that more than what another place does? I don't know. You know what? It's about a social experience. And so this is how it happened friend of mine Skypes me and says you know uh, why our grid you got to check it out and I'm like I thought it was a misspelling I'm sorry you know like two days later he goes dude I haven't seen nothing on the YR grid and I'm like what's YR I thought that was like uh, <laughs> a misspelling or something he's like no 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 it's a grid and I went oh okay so then I went and looked it up, and uh, by lo and behold, there it was, you know. So I went on Bitbucket, started looking at who was handling this stuff, and uh, uh, very highly qualified developers. Uh, I, 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 you know, I believe that probably any viewer that would came in here would probably work really well with this sim. Uh, the third-party viewers seem to work fine, even, even mine. When you sit down and build your own libraries from all of the three P's from Linden Labs, and you actually build up a 64-bit libraries for Linux, and you do it from ground up, you'll respect the hard work 
that the Singularity team has gone through, uh, or uh, or uh, especially Nikki Perrin over there at uh, the Kokua team, who uh, took that on for the 64-bit. Both of those teams are just phenomenal. And uh, so get in here and uh, check this place out. We're going to zoom out here real quick and uh, take a close look at it because uh, with my cam here. Uh, just a beautiful build. Just enjoy it. Now, you'll note the flicker now. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. I took it up to uh, to the max draw, and at max draw, it seems to do that. So I brought in one of my viewers that uh, it's a special build of Firestorm that I build my own three Ps right from the ground up. And uh, no, you can't get this one. This is mine, just for uh, that I've made for my own machine and stuff that I maintain myself. But uh, I don't seem to have that problem. Uh, I don't think it's the viewer. I think, uh, well, it could be multiple things. I think it could be the settings for the graphics card. And obviously it's drawing in more information in the server. But I notice the grid's going to the bottom left corner. It's a VAR grid. It's a VAR grid. And when I'm asking it to look the whole VAR grid, it's, it's flashing to the bottom left corner and coming back up, flashing to the bottom left corner. This is, that is, that can be a VAR grid situation, by the way. Uh, might want to look into that, but hey, man, it's such a gorgeous build. Now, to be fair, you you will not see that if you're not doing video. By the way, uh, the video catches that because uh, uh, it it it's only doing 25 frames per second. It's grabbing only 25 frames per second. Whereas I'm getting a great, I'm doing, even at full out with this video card, I'm getting a great, uh, uh, I'm, I'm way up above there. I haven't dipped below 45 frames per second. And uh, I'm, I'm letting you know that, that th this, is, this definitely is a well-built simulator. So uh, there's issues that... Uh, that are unexplainable at this point, but uh, can uh, can be fixed and handled. And I wouldn't suggest running at 512. I mean, running above 512. I think that would probably fix 90% of your problem. What an exciting build. Now, I want a little reminder of you all that uh, with this viewer that they're using, that uh, you can't export, all right? Uh, you can't export uh, out of here with the viewer. So I think Cinder has some work to do. Singularity team is always on top of things. They're wonderful stuff. So it's a it's a one way street right right now with this viewer. And the inability to to uh the import the uh, the OXP which is a backup that you'll be using. Uh so that's another problem. So you know uh I don't know what to say about that. I don't promote different viewers. All I know is I make them work. And that's all I've ever done since 2004 was make these things work. And uh, this viewer works. And it's very dependable. And it's a very stable viewer. I say hands off. Great job to Singularity and Cinder Bissett. She always does a great job with the Mac and the Windows viewers. But uh, And I think this is a... A really nice, uh, really nice little setup that uh, that you have here, and it's doing pretty well. And there's no reason why uh, there's no reason why uh, this place shouldn't be growing and really be uh, taking off. It's uh, the moment I got here, I was helped by somebody two days in a row. First day, I struggled getting uh, things going on. I had too much going on. So second day, I came in here and uh, and got it done. I really... And I'm going to come back here. I love the way they're building. I think they're doing a lot of big things. And 
And, uh, you know, it's just something I like doing. And uh, keep up the great work, the YR, your grid team. I like to call it your grid team, your grid, YR. I think it's a fantastic way of looking at it. And I'm really glad. Uh, thank you, Doc Smirnoff, for letting me in on that. Uh, well, that's been uh, my take on your grid and their viewer. And uh, anybody that would like to have a 32-bit or a 64-bit built for them, uh, it's not that hard. It's very simple. You don't even need auto build to build that one. Uh, so uh, it's. Let me know. I'll ask Draco to put one out on his. Put one out there. But remember, that's not going to be the official viewer. It will be just their code that you'll be using. And uh, if you're going to add F mod like I do, then uh, you'll have to have your own F mod. Uh, because of licenses, uh, you're uh, I'm unable to distribute the F mod, uh, the F mod X uh, for uh, for stuff. So you'll end up using the OpenAL. All right. So you all have a great morning.